Hey everyone, uh, Joel here. Uh, just like uh, last year, I'm going to try and live code all the advent of code problems, um, and uh, we'll see if we'll see if that works. Uh, unlike last year, I'm actually going to try and live stream them, which I did not know how to do last year. Last year, I just recorded them and posted them, but um, this year, I'm going to try and stream it too, so you can watch it in real time. I don't know if there's any advantage to doing that compared to um, actually watching them later, but uh, we'll do it. So anyway, um, I've got things kind of set up. I've got a repo. Um, you know, I, I don't know how you found this, but I have a Twitter at Joel Gruz. Um, you probably saw it on YouTube, which is slash Joel Gruz. And uh, for this year, I set up a Patreon. Um, let's see if I can find that uh, and what that looks like. Um, it says Joel Gruz is creating live coding videos um, and you can pledge. Uh, currently I've got $0 per month pledge, which makes sense. Um, and you don't get anything for pledging. So I don't know why you'd want to do it. Um, I don't really need your money. I do okay for myself, but you know, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or whatever, um, you can do that. And let me see if this is streaming. It looks like it is. So, um, I'm going to hope that it's working and uh, it looks like it's working. So good. Uh, let us waste no time and figure out what the first problem is. Day one, chronal calibration. We detected some temporal anomalies, one of Santa's elves says. At 500 year intervals in the past, someone has been changing Santa's history. Good news is that changes won't propagate to our time stream for another 25 days. We have a device to let you fix the changes with no such propagation delay. It's configured to send you 500 years further into the past every few days. This was the best we could do on such short notice. Bad news is we are detecting roughly 50 anomalies throughout time. The device will indicate fixed anomalies with stars. The other bad news is that we only have one device. You're the best person for the job. Good luck. She taps a button. Suddenly you feel like you're following to save Christmas. You need to get all 50 stars by blah, blah, blah. So I'll start with puzzles. Um, okay, so this is like the setup. That's not actually the problem. Okay, so let's find the problem. Uh, error device must be calibrated before first use. Frequency drift detected. Cannot maintain destination lock. Below the message, the device shows a sequence of changes in frequency. Your puzzle input. A value like plus 6 means the current frequency increases by 6. A value like minus 3 means the current frequency decreases by 3. For example, if the device displays frequency changes of plus 1, minus 2, plus 3, minus 1, Starting from a frequency of zero, the following changes would occur. Current frequency is zero, change of plus one, one, minus two, one, minus one, three, two, one. Um, so results in three, results in six. Starting with a frequency of zero, what is the resulting frequency after all the changes in frequency have been applied? Um, to begin with, get your puzzle input. So let's look at this puzzle input. Um, and each one is either a minus or a plus. And um, so I actually have a uh, virtual end all set up for this and I just want to check one thing which is that if I do int of plus 8 I get 8 and if I do int of minus 8 I get minus 8 okay so um, let us uh, create a file um, and call this what was this um, Chronal calibration. Day 01 chronal calibration. Pi. Okay. So, and I think I decided this year I was going to make a data folder. So let's make a data folder. And then under the data, let's do day 01 a dot text. And I will just uh, copy this put it in day 01a.txt, that's fine. Um, and so now, uh, let me go back here um, and say with open data day 01a.txt as f, um, lines equals, uh, let's say, line.strip for line in f, and, um, numbers equals actually let me just do a, this uh, numbers equals int of line of strip for line and f so that's real easy 
Um, and then all I want to do is to print uh, the sum of the numbers. So let us do that. And this says that they sum up to 400. Um, let's just check that numbers make sense. The last one is this huge number, which I think we saw. And uh, len numbers is 995. If I look at that file, there are 995 of them. So I think that seems good. And sorry, I can't remember what the result was, 400. Um, so let's go back and put in uh, 400. Starting with frequency of zero, what is the resulting frequency after all the changes in frequency have been applied? Um, so let's say 400. All we did was take their numbers and sum them up. Um, that's the right answer. One gold star closer fixing the time stream. Continue to part two. Okay, good. Part two. Notice that the device reads the same frequency change list over and over. To calibrate the device, you need to find the first frequency it reaches twice. For example, using the same list of changes, the device will loop as follows. Um, uh, current frequency zero, change of plus one, resulting frequency one, current frequency one, change of minus two, minus one. Um, current frequency zero. In this example, the first frequency reached twice as two. Notice that your device might need to re repeat its list of frequency changes many times before duplicate frequency is found. The duplicates might be found while in the middle of processing the list. Um, okay, so this one actually, um, what is the first frequency your device reaches twice? Okay, so we can still use the same numbers, which is good. Um, and we can just, yeah, let's do that fine. Um, and so we want to um, find the first frequency it reaches twice. So to do that, let's just say um, all frequencies. Um, and let's start with some numbers, which is a list of ints. Um, and that will return uh, an iterator of ints. So it's just going to run forever. Um, so, you know, from typing import list uh, an iterator. And so what we want to do is we want to basically um, let's see what do they call it? They want to call it uh, frequency. So let's say frequency equals zero um, and we're going to want to um, track the frequencies we've seen. So we'll just say a scene uh, which is a set of ints it's just going to be an empty set. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and generate all of these frequencies. And um, so I could use iter tools cycle. That would be like the, the really cute way to do it. Or I could just use a, a while true, which is probably a simpler way to do it um, for number and numbers. Um, and why don't I just do this? So, uh, and then I don't have to do the type int, and then I can delete that. Um, so, so we start with uh, we've seen uh, zero. Um, when the first screen reads it twice, and I think zero counts. Um, yes, zero does count. Okay, for number and numbers, let's say frequency plus equals number if frequency is something that we've seen before um, then that's the uh, oh actually you know what that's um, for number and, uh, uh, Yield frequency, frequency plus equals number. Okay, so, so um, I don't even want seen here. Um, so all I want to do um, is uh, I just want to generate all frequencies. Um, generate all frequencies by adding the numbers in a cycle. Start at zero. Okay, so. Um, so this will yield zero, then it'll add the first one, then it'll yield that, add the first one, and so on. It'll keep doing that. Um, and then once I run out of numbers, it will go back to the while true and do it again. So, um, and then I want the first uh, repeat frequency. So I say first repeat frequency. Um, let's say numbers is a list of int. And... Um, 
should probably do this. Let's start and t equals zero. Um, frequency equals start. So I won't start at zero. I'll, I'll start um, where I tell it to. That's just a better design. Um, start int equals zero. Um, and that'll be an int, hopefully. Um, and so we'll say uh, scene is uh, nothing. Uh, that's an empty text. So scene is an empty set. And now what I want to do is I want to do um, for frequency in all frequencies uh, from numbers and start. So this is going to um, repeat itself forever, presumably. Um, if frequency is something we've seen before, um, then return frequency. Otherwise, um, scene dot add frequency. Okay. Um, and so now they've given us a couple of unit tests. So let's do that. Um, so assert that first repeat frequency of one minus one uh, is zero. Assert that first repeat frequency of three, three, four, minus two, minus four is 10. And then assert that first uh, repeat frequency of minus six, three, eight, five minus six uh, is five and assert that first repeat frequency of seven uh, seven minus two minus seven minus four is uh, 14. So let's uh, run and all my asserts pass which makes me think that um, I'm doing the right thing. So let's now print the first repeat frequency of our numbers. Um, and it says it's 232. So um, let's say 232. That's the right answer. You're one gold star closer to fixing the time stream. You got ranked 997 on the stars leaderboard. Um, first hundred users. Okay, so I'm not one of the first hundred users, so that's too bad, but I wasn't really trying to be one of the first hundred users. Um, and I think this is a nice uh, clean solution. So get status, get add data, get add day01. What is this dot cache? Um, you know, dot get ignore dot cache. Yes, I use nano. It's the only console editor I know how to use, um, get add, uh, get ignore, um, get commit dash M, uh, first day, get push, uh, whoops. Okay, so now I can do get push, and that looks good. So now if I go over to um, my advent of code and refresh, I've got uh, day one. So uh, I think that's it for today. Um, I will do it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll do it right at you know 9 p.m. when it kicks off or whenever, but thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. And I plan to keep doing this because uh, it's fun. And you know, I have a lot of, I actually have a lot of things I need to be doing right now. I'm working on the second edition of my book and uh, that deadline is soon. And I have a lot of things to finish at work before the end of the year, but I like live coding for you. It's fun. And so I'm going to keep doing it and staying up past my bedtime and neglecting uh, my family probably and all that stuff just so I can, uh, just so I can live code for you. Um, so I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. Um, and that's all. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah. Uh, at Joel Groose on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. You, you know the drill.